This is the Raven's Librarian with another part of Steam World Quest and of Gilgamesh. In the last few videos, I've been mostly doing. Uh, I was doing the Colosseum battles. But I decided not to. Even though I am slightly, you know, inclined to like keep pushing through it, I honestly want to go back to doing the story. So. We'll be starting Act 4 at this point. Uh, I think it's the this is the last act, but like, I, like I've mentioned, my memory's kind of not as strong on this game's pace. Chapter 16. Into the Mountains. <laughs> Looks like Galeo and Auric are getting along. There's not really much friction between them, but I'm just keeping in mind the fact that when they first met, Galio was definitely the most distrustful of Auric, and probably the one who less, who was more easily annoyed by him. I guess that's because Galio was just the one who was easily, the most annoyed in general. Well, I guess that's not really true. I think it's between him and Copernica. Copernica just mainly seems to get very annoyed by her friends, like silliness sometimes but it's hard to tell if that's her genuinely being annoyed and her just trying to like you know the whole older sister motherly instinct of just trying to keep the band and party from like not getting lost with their shenanigans but yeah like i remember galio being the one who was like the most like i don't know about this guy but that that didn't really like develop into any like anim real animosity between them i just think it's like sort of assumed that they weren't getting super, you know, like, initially, it's just something you might be able to just read into based on their lack of interact. Oh. I'm gonna try and do the early parts. Now, it's a fundamental rule. If you're in a winter area, rules are half of everything you face will be winter-themed. We must traverse the Dark Frost Mountains to reach the fortress under which the behemoth resides. Hold on, wait. Sorry, hold on. Taking a photo for the... In case I haven't said it before, the... I try to take photos during... Well, I'm gonna try to get into the habit of taking photos during the actual playthrough so I can actually use them as thumbnails. We must... Uh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's an ominous castle. There, we will stop Gilgamesh from awakening it. I've changed my mind. Let's go back to the campfire. Armily, you haven't said anything since we left the cursed city. Don't worry. Get a move on before my eyelids freeze. You know, when people sit, when your friends, you know, seem to be acting weird and then they tell you, oh, don't worry about it. That, that's when you need to start worrying. Now, don't, 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 don't worry too much. And I mean, it's like, it's never good to like be too pushy when, even if you're genuinely worried for your friend. I'll admit I'm not a real, don't take too much advice from me on that. It's like, I, my list of friends is pretty low. So I sh definitely should not and do not consider myself an expert on these matters. Hmm. I guess I'll go for no real combo. Just gonna go do. Uh, now I forget whether this guy does one of the very annoying status ailments. Yeah, definitely gun. As always, I definitely need to take out the main healer. Just like they're the ones that save my bacon in my party. I gotta be sure to not let the enemy have the same advantage. It's called strategy. Being rude. Don't need much of the healing. Okay. Don't have any fire cards yet. So it might be better to... 
Go with this. Oh, right. Poison. Now, speaking of which, that was the... That was probably the thing that kind of pulled me back from actually doing the... The battle to air. The rest of the Colosseum when the next section of the Colosseum said, Oh yeah, every NA, your entire party is just permanently poisoned. <laughs> the second I read that, I'm like, excuse me? I think the only thing worse than that was if I was bleeding. Okay, so... This is quickly turning... Very bad. Oh, wait, he might take enough damage from the other thing. Wait, wait, more thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and. Uh, Numbers added up there, at least. Fortunately, I'm taking a lot of damage. Curse that heals the attacker when. Okay, so in that case. So this instead. take this for all its work. I know it's not gonna defeat it, either of them, but I wanna focus on healing for now. Oh right, he was wearing the light. Oh. I should have been paying more attention to that. Okay. Everybody in the party took a lot of damage there, so... Might need to... Rely a bit more on the statues until I get a few level ups. It's outside of the. Hello! Any dialogue for the. Mr. Ranger takes its toll on the spokes and wheel axles. Yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Deals fire damage to all foes. She's getting fired up, sorry. Lowers one foe's arcane defense and strength. Deals arcane damage to all poison foes. Okay, so that seems like a good combo to get when you have the other cards that poison. Deals. They might not actually. Hmm. 
Man, I need to save the money in case I need to. That last time I spent all that money on... Hey, Void Army. Also, I forgot to check. Anything behind you? Yeah, see if that's a crack I need to... Won't budge. Locked up tight. Did you just sit there, stand there waiting for me to react? Okay. Once again, gonna go after the druid. Hopefully, I remember. I remember to actually heal arm lately. Okay, group of archers in the background, apparently. At least he didn't despair the right character. Always go for the bleeding. That's twice in a row. That card, I have it because of the Colosseum, but that might not be too useful in this area. Also, I seriously need to see if I can find a card that cures everybody of poison, because this is going to get really annoying if he just keeps doing that. Let's see who he paralyzes with the pumps, right? Oh, crud. I wasn't paying attention, he was still despaired. Dude, you already poisoned us. Okay, so I'm gonna... See how you like being afflicted with massive despair. And then hopefully finish off the druid. My friend's going through some stuff, so... She's not... Eh. Now I need to save that for later. Should probably use this regardless. I'm gonna help Armley, but I wanna... Hopefully the bleeding does its job. So close! Still bleeding? Okay, hopefully he'll kill over in the next one.
Oh, come on. Okay, I need to start trying to be clever. And by clever, I mean lazy. Tap him. There we go. Do I have enough to... Yeah, I'll get the shield up. It's not for the, for the heal, I'm just trying to get the character to armor the shield, so... Armally will at least survive this turn. Hopefully I can heal before that happens. Okay. you have any? Okay, good. Oh, I'm gonna try to make up for the heals. Make up for the health. Boss. Yeah. Stuttering my words. Go down. Yeah, still, I need to find. Actually, go for the hero statue. Heal, even if it means running into enemies again. Again, I can at least level up. I do think I need to switch out some stuff. I'd save this one just in case I run into somebody. Friends. Gotta keep an eye out. If I run into enemies, that really give that. This also might be cool if, for the same reason, if the enemies aren't actually using a lot of attacks. Yeah, I need to get this one. Now we'll figure out which one of these do we actually need. This one's still mainly for the heal combo that I get with the Leo, but... I really think we're gonna need this more than anything else. Hopefully I don't make a huge mistake in... You see me? No. Oh great, two wizards. Okay, it's actually a good thing I still have this one then. I guess now I'll have to figure out which one of these two is actually worse, the druid or the... It's the druid. Pretty sure I'm about to lose one of my characters because I forget to heal. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna overcommit at the risk of losing this character because I really don't want to deal with this druid. Poison wore out.
So she doesn't have the reflect. Okay. Save that for the next one. He's not blinded, so. Let's hope he's not resistant to fire. Good. I guess I'll find out if they're resistant. Or actually heal from it. I wonder if there's a limit to how many minions they can summon. On the one hand, this area is going pretty standard. On the other, I literally lost a party member, so probably not the best look right now. Yeah, no, probably better to wait until they heal and then start going until the battle's over and they recover and then heal, use actual heal items on him. I'm running out of cards to play. Don't really need that. Don't really need this either, but... Sometimes you get very lucky with the deck that your hand, and sometimes you just feel like you're getting a really good hand for a situation you don't have at the moment. Like, oh, this would, this would be a really good hand if I was worrying about healing. Or this was a really, you know, good hand if I wasn't desperate to not die. You're not immune to the effect.
same thing with the steam bar. Sometimes you're like, man, I wish I had more steam build up, and other times you're like, man, I have so much, I don't, I don't really know what to do with all this. Right, so. Heal too much. It's the whole point of having a healer on the party. I need to take a photo of this. He's had a rough day. I don't know. He looks kind of happy. No, oh, this one actually repeats. Okay, so we're. So we're back to branching paths for the map. Don't have to worry about running into multiple, you know, going too far ahead or going in the wrong direction. Oh, uh, wait, I just... Oh. Okay. Okay, so that might be... Hang on. Don't recall if it's more than one or if that's the only one. I remember to use the fast moving button. Yep. What do we got here? Deals magic as storm damage to one foe and inflicts paralysis for three turns. Once again, the fact that they give me this card makes me sus in this area makes me suspect I probably want to have this card on my hand. So we'll see how that goes. I'm honestly surprised I had I got lucky enough to find that a lever, and that I had the mental brain cells to actually go. Hang on, maybe I should go back and check. How's the party doing? I do gotta worry about focusing too much on one party. Actually, even though the combo would be good, I think it's better to use this. That way I actually prevent them from doing anything in the next turn. Oh, there it is. Powerful card. Guess I'll have to see if I actually want to use it on this battle. Nah, yeah, I want to use it. Gonna use the big one on you. There's a chance he'll survive, but I have no idea if these guys are even weak to lightning. 
They are in fact weak to lightning. The fact that I got to use that card in the very next battle is something I'm actually pretty... <laughs> You know, very simple, but I'm pretty happy with that. No, wait, that's not what I want to do. This is way too OP. No need this for this guy. Huh. This actually does more damage. I guess it doesn't have the combo. I'm doing this for the heal, so... Need him to stay alive just long enough to get a heal, and then... Very silly, because, you know, if I was going for damage, I should do it the other way around. I oh, didn't get a lot of XP in that one. Okay, so that path leads further. Oh yeah, I forgot you were also here. Dang. Yeah, it was too slow. Oh, that, this looks rough. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a rough fight. Seriously, where are those are bows coming from? Like I get it, you have a squad, but like where the heck are they in this scenario? Like are they all the way back in the fight? I know it's silly to folk to, you know, ham in on that, but I just thought it was be funny. Hopefully, this guy's nuts. Okay, so... I need to double check if the soldiers are weak too. Uh, fire, because if not, then I have an I then it means the normal soldiers are weak to lightning and the mage soldiers are weak to fire. And it's understandable again that not everyone's few of anyone here is going to be weak to uh, frost because you know it'd be kind of sad if it's like you came all the way up here and you didn't plan for the one element that you're actually gonna, you know, you know you're gonna be going to a cold place. So yeah, like I said, it just makes too much sense to me that they're like, yeah, most of them are gonna be resistant to that. So there's a, you'll probably... Yeah, so he's gonna be res- Wait, he missed? Oh, he's blind. Oh, I did not realize. <laughs> Sorry, Armelie had completely faced on the fact that you were blind. My bad. Okay. This is gonna be kind of overkill, but... Assuming it hits. See what happens. Ow. Fire for then his. See if he's actually. So are you weak to fire? You are not weak to fire, and you are also. They're getting a lot of XP, considering they've already leveled up twice. 
Well, in fairness, that, that was intentionally a very hard fight. Ooh, loot. I guess they realized that. Raises physical defense for all allies and lowers physical defense for all foes by one grade each for three turns. Deals 130% strength storm damage to all foes and has a 50% chance to inflict confusion. Mars is he working with? Sully's in this area, does, at least for now, they aren't doing the whole extreme branching paths where you have to figure, you know, you keep going like three different layers of maps figuring out where you need to go. Okay. Possible bad sign that that's there. I don't just mean bad in the sense that, oh, I'm gonna run into, you know, strong enemies or something. Not at the mere presence of a statue. Also, I think I may have commented on this in the first few videos of this playlist. Of this game. But the fact that, you know, all this time we've been using his image, his statue, as a way to keep going. There's sort of like an interesting irony to that. We gonna nope. <laughs> I was like, are we gonna talk this out? Nope. Okay. So I just realized this could be a massive problem because I don't have any healers. Oh boy. I might end up having to redo this fight. This is gonna end badly.
get it. I'm gonna... Hopefully they're not gonna drag this out. Come on. that again and I know for should have realized it ahead of time but regardless point is now we know that we're facing off against those guys for boss fights you know, there sh I should be able to sort this out without too much trouble assuming I can figure out the right strategy in this case it's This might be good in case they're actually weak to lightning. We need a lot of heals. Wait. I messed up. have as much strong heals as possible. This is to build this is to build up steam. Don't need that. Okay, so her case. They're probably weak to both of those things. Don't really need this except for the possible heal, but might be better to go for something else. Do I have a stronger... Oh yeah, what are the other disc causes? No. Defense is all gonna be real. to counteract their attempts to keep themselves Oi, wrong button okay so bro, I need to go back play through this section just to boost the other party members Watch me. Wait, 
I need to say you. Yeah, maybe my mistake is I don't know. Yeah, maybe he can work out there. I just need to figure out is what to give him. Hopefully I won't have to redo the, the map. Let's try this again. By this time they're going offensively instead of healing. I gotta watch out for that. Still haven't regained her attack. Might be worth a try. Oh damn, that was very lucky. Try to keep them from boosting their strength. Don't know when I'll get the chance to use that card again. For that.
god. Okay, so they all boost themselves once that happens. Okay. So it wasn't random, they do that the moment that you take out any of them. Okay. Alright, now I'm running into the problem of not having enough cards that actually boost team. So that's the problem with the deck I formed, not... Right in there. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if I can get a combo with Auric in the next one. There we go. Hopefully this will work out like last time. Still running into the same problem of not having enough steam built up to actually do something with it. Probably need to watch out for when I defeat. The more I defeat, I'm worried that the stronger they'll get, but.
that money. We are technically making progress, but... The problem is the more at times they can attack us, the stronger their hits might be. Which means it's, you know, very risky to keep fighting them. Okay, well I just lost all my defense. still get through this. I could just find more healing cards to use. Or better healing cards from the main concern. So all this guy needs to do is get one good hit on us and I start losing party members and this gets a lot uglier.
Oh, he's kind of starting again. Mostly a stagnate, just trying to on. The problem is he heals a lot. See if I can paralyze him. Get him to get him to knock that off for a, for a little while. I got him. The problem now I have is that I don't have a lot of cards that deal a lot of damage. And the ones that I do, I need to build up steam to make them work. Which is a problem because I don't have a lot of my cards aren't really cooperating in that situation right now. Ugh. There's a problem when you build a very flawed deck. Now, weirdly enough, it's actually to my benefit that the AI seems to be really stuck on not really fighting. So he, he's clearly the support for the rest for the other guys, so now that he's alone, he doesn't really seem to know what to do. Which is fine by me, because, you know, all that strong melee attack they have isn't really getting going to any use. Well, now you find ju just as I say that, now you're attacking big figures. Right when I open my mouth, he makes me look dumb. Now you're going on offense. Hmm. We'll see about that. To 
slowly inching my way there. And he's not healing anymore, so I actually might be able to do it. They should do it. And... Got through the wall. Ugh. That was an abominable surprise. Nobody. Nobody. A pack of Vargas. They have adapted to colder environment by, among other things, huddling and... Can we please keep moving? My ears are starting to grow icicles. I didn't get the fight, so, you know... I don't know, I think in the last one, I, I got a shot of the actual building. That'd be nice. Hopefully doing this won't trigger the enemy to respawn. I'm pretty sure that doesn't apply to bosses. And if it does, we'll... shoot. So I'm pretty sure what'll actually happen is, like, you know, it triggers a cutscene and then we move on. But, just in case, I don't want to... I want to try to keep the party leveling up as much as possible. I've been redoing fights just to avoid leaving them. Also, I just realized I never pointed out, like, the, the places with the coins, it goes back and forth from being logical to nonsensical. Here it is, the final resting place of the behemoth. Before they themselves went quietly into the pages of history, the temperance of Lux Ultima erected this fortress upon the monster's lifeless body. Alright, let's go! Or maybe it was a more like, alright, let's go! Having traversed the treacherous Dark Frost Mountain, the gang enters Gilgamesh's fortress. So, that was a pr uh, pretty straightforward chapter. That was out outside of that. Yeah, obviously I'm... I might need to grind a little bit more, or just look up, maybe finally do some of the actual card upgrades, because I've been really slacking off on doing that, playing kind of too ca a little bit too casually. But, you know, that wasn't too bad. I just lost once to a boss. That's not the most outrageous thing, you know? At least I hope it isn't. Regardless, I ho hope to see you in, in future videos, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care, everybody. See you then.